All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today, we're going to be looking at a comment that someone left, and it has to do with my video that I put out yesterday on Keyword Phoenix. This is a special that I'm running this week, partnering with Andy Black, the owner and creator of Keyword Phoenix. We've put together a really, really good deal on this keyword research and now AI writing tool for you, SEO tool. But we had somebody that had a question about how does it do uh, with local location, seed keywords, so basically local SEO, right? Trying to rank for like, you know, plumbing in Denver, drywall repair in Phoenix, those kind of keywords, right? And so we're gonna go and do some testing on this. Now I've already jumped in and done a little bit of testing and so forth. So pretty cool stuff. So what you can do over here is you could add a keyword, a seed keyword right here, which I've already done for Denver web design and Phoenix drywall repair. So I want to show you that it, it pulled back 35 and 30. Now to give you an idea, let's say Phoenix drywall repair, for example. And what I want to do is come in here and go into my SE ranking Dry SE ranking keyword tool right here and just show you that it's pulling in about 39 keywords that are related and similar, it only pulled in two keywords. So there's just not a lot going on for Phoenix drywall repair. And so that kind of tells you, I mean, in, in a sense, it's not like, it's not that the tool is lacking in finding keywords. There's just not a whole lot for Phoenix drywall repair. And the, but for, for Denver web design, it pulled in 35 keywords and we can come in here and check that one out in this keyword tool over here. And then it pulled in a lot more over here. So 95 keywords. And so you would probably do better in searching for a list of keywords in a different tool. But I wanna show you Denver web design, for example. So if we just typed in uh, Denver on this one right here, went into view keywords, and then we scroll down and we look for only Denver. Denver has to be in the keyword. It found 28 of the 35 have Denver in it. And then if I say web, so Denver web right there, and we're down to 10 entries right here that have the Denver web right there. So it would work decently, but I found even a better way that you're going to be able to get the power. Because when I after using the tool for a couple of days, the power of the tool is analyzing the keywords, no matter where you get them from, and then having these indicators tell you which keyword you actually have a better chance of ranking for. So it's really the unique algorithm, SEO algorithm, that is within the software that tells you what keywords, because it's based on all in title, it's based on search results you know, by the millions, and it has a certain threshold and then all in title. And then also, it also has to do with when you go in here to view the SEO data, it also has to do with what you're seeing right here. There has to be enough of these SEO scores. It's analyzing the top 10 results, right? And it's basically looking at the page title tag. It's looking at all these factors. And when it has, like this one has four greens. And so that's pr uh, probably a good indicator that that's why this keyword is, you know, it's not fully optimized by all these SEO companies and so forth that you have a good, probably a good chance for, right? So like this 27, if I view all data on this site, we come down here, we can see that they're optimized pretty decently on the page title, but it's not perfect, right? It, this would be over here in red if it was optimized. But then we can come in here, H tags not really optimized, alt tags aren't optimized. We can go and look at their H tags on their site and go and see what they're doing as well. A lot of things you can do in this tool. We know what their content is, how many words they are they have on their content and made a description right there as well. Another thing that we can do is we can retrieve the Moz data right here. And when I click that, it's a DA of 27 total backlinks right there. So there's a reason it's a DA of 27. And then we come back over here, look at a couple more of these. We're not looking at these sites don't have more than a DA of 30. So that tells you that you have a chance if they're less than 30 DA, you're going to have a little bit more of a chance of probably ranking for that keyword. All right. So that's kind of how the, the algorithm works. It's working on what the domain authority of the websites that are in the top 10. It's looking at the search results. It's looking at the all in title. It's looking at all that. And then it's coming up with a, you know, a grade. Okay. So now what I would do, okay, is I would come over here and we would import. So I would go over here 
Before we go in here to Google Keyword Planner, we're gonna to go to a search here. I wanna show you, this is the, the page here that it's only for LearnWire customers and subscribers. This is a special deal. It's a private sale that nobody else you know has access to. So you can go and check out all the rankings that Andy has gotten on his site. I believe it has only a domain authority of like 15 to 20. And the tool that I checked it with, it only had a domain authority of 18. So a low do DA site, and it's got all these rankings. Go read the, the case study and so forth. The link will be below. Let me just get this, you know, kind of housekeeping out of the way. So this is keyword Phoenix special. It did launch, uh, this private sale launched yesterday on the 21st, and you have till Sunday, October 27th. You get to save $30 on this and get three months for free. So the price for this private sale is $67. It's normally $90. $97 and you usually only get 12 months access. So you got to kind of really put that together. You're saving 30% and then you're also a month for free. And so I calculated that down. It breaks down to just $4.46 per month. They've also implemented, and he's also implemented the ability to write, get NLP keywords, get article outlines, and then also write articles with this tool. And I'm not really sure how the credit system works or anything like that, but you, I read on the page that you can write about 250 AI articles per month with this tool. So with that out of the way, let's go over here. And what I would do is I would go into Google. So obviously you can, it works really well with Insta keywords. You can go and use Insta keywords, but then this is free over here. Some of you don't even have Insta keywords. You don't have a paid tool. So you can go in here to Google keyword planner and go to discover new keywords. And you could say, Denver web design, right? And then we could go and say, get results. And then it's going to go out there and find a bunch of keywords for us. So it found 89 of these, right? And then you would go and download this key, these keyword ideas, download that as a CSV. And then you would come back into keyword Phoenix, right? I want to go back to the main dashboard. And then what we would do is we'd go up to navigate and we would go into import keywords. And then we would choose our file right over here. And you would choose the file. I've already uploaded it, right? But then, and then you'll select, you'll select what you want it to import to. So I've got web design. And so I've got Denver web design import right here. So go ahead and set your tag before this step. And then you would go in and uh, say, Hey, the first uh, column is the keyword. The second column is the volume. And then you would import this keyword. Okay. So once you have your, you can import keywords all day long, which is great. And I think that's the big power of this tool, because it, like I said, this is a, a like a further investigation analysis, SEO analysis tool that a lot of other tools, I think it has a unique algorithm that's actually going to tell you if you can actually rank for a keyword or not, which I'm not seeing on a lot of other tools. What we would do is we'd come over here to navigate and then you go into view keywords. And when you go to view keywords, this is your keyword library of all the imported keywords that you've imported into the tool. So once we get into the keyword library, you can come in here to all tags, select the tag that you want to go with. Right now we're looking at Denver web design import, right? I labeled it as an import. And then we can go and it's going to automatically default at 35%, which is kind of the threshold of keywords that we want to look at. And it automatically does analyze. I'm not sure how it works. If it automatically analyzes the keywords, no matter what, it already has an SEO score, generally speaking. But when you push the analyze buttons on keywords, I think that it's going to give you even more up of an updated amount or an updated score. But just to show you all, I want to go to 100% right over here. And we'll just look at all keywords. So all of the keywords, all 85 of those keywords that we uh, brought in here are all in here from the imported list. Now, one thing that you do need to know is that you will have to come in here and you'll have to click the analyze button. And that takes a little bit of time. It's gonna take you about 20 or 30 minutes, but you gotta think about this. If you're building a website for somebody or for yourself, or you've gotta be willing to spend a little bit of time getting this um, SEO an analysis done, right? And so you do have to do that. I am working with Andy to where we can tr try to see if we can put all these into like a, a holding queue and then they'll process um, you know, and we could throttle the, the processing, but there's a lot of resources and bandwidth that are being used because it's looking up all in title as well for all of this. And so it has to go at a certain level of pace. You guys know all about that. Most keyword tools do not do this kind of lookup and do not do an all in title. And that's what makes this tool uh, special and unique from other tools. So once you uh, go through and you analyze all the keywords, right, and it's really cool, you can actually look at processed. So uh, you can look at unprocessed keywords. If you're looking at, you know, what, what, you, what you could do is just look at the number of keywords. I like to start at the number of keywords at like four. 
and then push, you know, apply because that's going to chop this down uh, and be a lot more manageable. T typically for local SEO, three keywords or less, you're going to have a really hard time ranking for those anyways, especially on a new website. They're going to be those really heavy hitting keywords. They're going to have a lot of authority websites ranking, a lot of backlinks. And so I like to, for, for blogging, I like to go a lot higher, even to six, seven, eight. But for this local SEO, I like to go to four and then you'll be looking at only 72. So it kind of cuts the list a little bit, but then we still have all this, right? All the analysis over here and you can see it and analyze these 57, 52. Those are all going to be too heavy. They're going to be too hard to go for. So then, and you can see that there is a unique algorithm. I actually asked Andy about this, even though that this says 22% right here for this SEO score right here, Website Development Denver, there is an out, the algorithm that he has built still goes out and checks this against the search results. So look at one, two, three, one, two, three. So this has 104 million search results for this. And it's, we're not getting an easy, the easy keywords are going to be labeled with a yellow or a green badge. If they're, if they're, there's just something that he put on top of the algorithm that says, Hey, there's, this is, this is a really good keyword to go for. Right? So what you can do from that point is just go to show easy keywords only push apply. And now we're looking at nine keywords that we should be spending our time with when it comes to web design Denver. So we have WordPress web design designer Denver. We have only nine all in title. We have a good search uh, volume right here. And then it gives us all this information right over here. We can also go in again and view the SEO data, right? So we can go, let's go look at this one right over here. This 28. So we have web designers in Arvada. Denver, we can come over here, view the SEO data. And there must be something in the algorithm that this is not ranking up here. It's, I mean, it doesn't have an SEO score. It's Yelp. There's probably a really good opportunity to outrank Yelp. Then we have number five or under 10% there, just 13% and 12%. So there's three opportunities in the top 10 right here for that keyword right there. And that's why we're getting this 28% right here, a easy keyword to go for right there. So we'll go back over here. So this is kind of how you would use the tool uh, to, uh, to identify the keywords that you should be spending your time on as a business. And then we'll come back over here and look at some more of these. So web design near me, Denver, that one we might not actually go for that one. Denver WordPress web designer, Denver web agency e-commerce. So look at all these keywords that people are actually looking for that are getting search volume, best web designers in Denver, freelance web de developer, Denver, freelance web de uh, designer, Denver, right? So we've got all these good keywords. So that's how you would use the tool. And then obviously freelance web designer, Denver, you could come over here, you can retrieve NLP keywords, you can create your outline, or you can just go create content. And it's going to go out there and it's going to add that to your queue. Technically, you could go and write content for all of these by just clicking the button right there. And then we'll wait, you know, a minute or so, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so it's been about 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and I, uh, I found the easiest way to stay on the same page is just to push the uh, apply filter. It's going to refresh the page and you can see that we have our first, our first article is now written. We can go and look at the meta description right here that you want to use. And then you have your view content right over here. We can go and copy this and then go to HTML to markdown and go and take a look at it. So we got freelance web designer, Denver. I'm going to come back over here, freelance web designer, Denver. So it does a good job with the, like the instructions on keeping that keyword intact. And then it also makes the title have that in it. Freelance web designer, Denver, your guide to finding the best in mile high city does a great job. Are you looking for a freelance web designer in Denver, whether you are a startup, small business, or an individual needing a personal website, finding the right web designer can be a daunting task in this article. We'll break down everything you need to know about hiring a freelance web designer in Denver, including tips, benefits, and how to find the perfect match for your project. What is a freelance web designer? It goes over that. Then it has some bullet points. Why choose a freelance web designer? Denver is a home, is home to a thriving community of freelancers. Here are some compelling reasons. So you have local expertise, cost effectiveness. So this is, these are really good local SEO pages, I would say. And so I think that this is actually a really good tool, especially for this, to be honest. 
to bring in your keyword research and to bring it into a two keyword Phoenix. I think you have a really good shot at going and finding the keywords that you should go after. Let's go into word counter and see what it ended up creating for us. So we can go over here. It created a 750 word article, which is usually pretty good for these types of pages. And it's on point. There's no fluff in the way that it's writing. It's really just writing really direct from an SEO standpoint. Okay, so I wanted to see, I grabbed the, the NLPs for this keyword and I wanted to see if it actually, you know, pre-does that or writes them. I don't think that even if you get the NLP and then you write content, I don't think that they're inter, you know, that they're linked together, like what you're going to get in like Koala Writer or some of the, the other AI writer writing tools that I recommend. I don't, but, but what it does is it does pull these really good NLP long phrase keywords right here that you could go in and add these to your content over here to make it even that much better. What I also would do is maybe, in fact, take this into Neuron Writer and then add Add those NLP keywords in as well, maybe write a little bit more as well. So you could really beef up this article right here that you have a nice base article, but then you can come over here and use these NLP keywords that we got a list of. Another thing you could do if you didn't want to use the, the AI writer that it's writing for right here, you could create the outline and create the NLP keywords, then bring those into a tool like Koala or Agility Writer in order to write your content even further to be SEO optimized, right? So a lot of things you can do from this great tool, but it definitely is a great foundation for you. And then what you could do is right over here, we're at 37, 40%. So you could actually, when you're done writing all those articles and keywords, you could come up here, uncheck the easy box, and then you could come up here and start looking at like 45 and maybe take it up a notch, right? And push apply. And then you could start looking at a lot more keywords right over here. And what I would do is if you're going to use this primarily for just the keyword research to tell you what you know, keywords you should go for. I'm not seeing a tick box that can say that we did write an article or something like that. So you can push the delete button and remove the keyword. But what I would do is just maybe, you know, use one of these NLP keywords or create outline and just click that in order to, you know, look at the keywords that you have. The NLP is in green. That means that you did write the article and you could just move on your merry way and continue up the path and go after harder keywords, essentially. And in this list, we would have almost 100 keywords that we could go after. So that's how I would use it for local SEO. And hopefully that answers your question of how does this do with local location seed keywords. Honestly, I think that it does really good with an analyzing, but it doesn't do as well at finding the keywords. So I think you're still going to need to go out and find the keywords with a like Google Keyword Planner or Insta Keywords or another tool, but then bring them, still bring them into Keyword Phoenix to, to write your articles, to do further SEO analysis, and to ultimately tell you what keywords you should go for. So uh, again, this is still, this is available to Till this Sunday, go pick up your annual copy and get three free months. So you actually get 15 months, more than a year uh, copy of this only for LearnWire. And that this special is going on only till this Sunday. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.